Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome. I think I have time for one quick game right now. 63 TR solo. Let's go. As always, if you get 63 TR and win, that's the prestigious win. If you just do all the metrics, the game counts as a loss, but we say, oh, it's it's fine. Uh, we'd love to play a game as Thorgate because it's been forever since we've had a chance for them. And I'd also love the opportunity to play Ecology Experts, right? You never know if that's that's something that's in the cards or not. Um, This actually looks like it's a very good run for Thorgate. So let's go ahead and just go down that path do we want to heat the planet do we want allied bank i'm not sure uh one sec what were the cards steel versus titanium versus money um a lot of this is building tags so steel is good yeah i think that um i mean allied bank is four dollars per turn versus three dollars worth of titanium per turn but $12 of titanium is a lot more than $3, so I think we're going to go into the titanium. Uh, it just comes with a little bit more of a bonus out the gate. And then we'll grab all of this. It's really expensive, so I don't see us doing all that much in the very like first turn. Um, well, that's not necessarily true. Actually, I might use that titanium on Convoy from Europa, and then we can get some more steel. I'm not sure. I'm not really sold either way. I do think I want to play as much of it as possible, though. Um, what if I just flood and I grab the titanium? And then I take that titanium and now five of it. I put that into grabbing the steel. Uh, let's double check what our card was, though. Nitrogen rich asteroid. Not bad. Not bad. If we get plant tags, we know what to do. Um, and now we have we have enough money to get some heat production going, uh, which is actually great because six and two is in fact eight. And then I'm a little bit worried about doing nuclear power, so I think that for the first turn I'm actually gonna do solar instead, and then next turn we'll we'll look into losing income to get more energy. Uh, in case you aren't aware, Thorgate starts with a decent amount of money, an energy tag, and an energy production. And then notably, their company bonus is every energy tag you play has a $3 discount applied to it. So that's been uh, really good in getting down our cards. If you can see our cards played, we've played one energy card, uh, one that uses energy, and then we have another energy card in our hand and more things that, again, use energy. So we're right where we want to be as far as that goes. Um, here, Noctis Farming's good if our heat's gonna go up, and it seems like it will. Um, same thing with, uh, Permafrost Extractor and, and Plantation. All of this is good. We're buying lots of cards right now. And, honestly, instead of playing Nuclear Power and losing income, I'm gonna play the Corporate Stronghold and get a little bit of income. And I think that I'd like to play it either for a card... I think I like the card here, or I like the steel. I think I'll take the card. Uh, because if we get a mining area, we know what to do. We'll put it here, and that'll get us a titanium production, which would be quite nice. Uh, it would have been nice to have a little bit more energy coming in last time. That would have been a reason to go for the um, nuclear power instead of the solar power one that we bought. But hard to say what was right. Uh, we'll take these cards here. Uh, Standard Technology is just a very good card in solo, and this is an energy tag to get us three more energy. If we don't get heat tags, we sure can get uh, energy tags. Is kind of the ethos we're, we're bringing in right now. Uh, I have $9 left over. I could spend it on uh, Standard Technology, but it doesn't give us anything until we start doing Standard Projects, and I don't need the Science tag just yet, so I'm just going to save our money. And we'll go into Gen 4. We're not looking that bad for Gen 4, quite frankly. It, we're a little bit behind on maybe doing TR, but we have a decent amount of heat income. We have a little bit of steel, a little bit of... Um, oh, this actually worked out really well. We just kind of have a little bit of everything, and it's going to work out in our favor. We just got Earth Office. That's $3 off of all the Earth tags, and that's very good right now because imported GHG comes with three heat up front so that actually gets us from 13 heat to 16 heat 
And with a couple of heat bumps, we hit the 24 degrees break point to get another heat production. So that worked out very well for us. And we'll start getting a little bit of plants trickling in. Another asset that I didn't mention is the fact that we just have lots of cards. We have 10 cards in hand. It really means that we've, we've expanded our options and have a lot of decent things to do with our money. So we just need to get there. We're not starving for things to do, basically. Uh, I don't think we're going titanium strats. But we are going heat and uh, and space. So we will grab this. We're not going uh, Jovian is what I meant to say. So we're buying three more cards. It's rough that I'm buying like three cards per turn. But I just think that it's very worth it. This is another opportunity for us to get the heat bump here. To get a little bit of things pushing forward. And I will, instead of going for plants, let's just grab the cards. The plants won't be helpful for another couple gens. So that's fine. Um... Minus 14 for two plant income and a science tag isn't too bad. Giant or ice asteroids very good for us. So that was some that was some good grabs. And then Noctis farming will get us a little a couple of plants, the ones that we for foregone had foregone, but now we have a little bit more money income and all of a sudden we have 22 TR. So the fact that our money income is low isn't is kind of offset by the fact that we have money coming in from TR. Again, I'd love to spend more time thinking and talking this through that's actually been a note i've had on my like the side of my desk for a little while now is is slow down explain what you're doing let people uh formulate their own plans of how they would do it and, and but again uh, i'm kind of in a rush right now because i think i have enough time for the video but maybe not even enough time to start the upload process so we're just uh pushing through where we can um i'm not getting any microbes right now it's the only card in this that I'm really that tempted to buy is a symbiotic fungus. It gives us a few options, but I don't think it's uh, it's what I want to do. I've already gone off the path a couple of times, so I don't feel like buying into a microbe synergy that may or may not pan out. I will buy into some scientific uh, plant production, though. That's that's something I'm interested in. And the next turn, we'll have two more heat bumps come in. So what I'm really trying to do, and I haven't articulated this well, is we've actually been pumping the heat quite well, which enables us to play um, plant cards. And in my hand, I have Plantation, I have Greenhouse, I have Heather, and I've already played two plant tags. And that's important because Nitrogen Rich Asteroid only requires at least three plant tags, again, unlocked by the heat going up, to get four production. So that's like high, high, high on my list of things to do. But also getting a discount universal on everything at another ocean event, that's pretty good. I'm not going for Jovian, so I grab these. Um, and yeah, like I could like play. I mean, look, there's the heat going up, which is which is fantastic. Do I want to get Heather played right now? I think I do. Instead of going for research outposts and getting those discounts, I think it's more important to play Heather. Then we take Heather and we use it to make a greenery here. And now we might be short $1. But I know I have cards in here that I'm not massive on martian rails in particular i'm like it's fine it would be like three dollars per turn but nitrogen rich asteroid is three dollars per turn in tr and then four plants so let's go ahead and trash that card and because i've played heather i've got the three plant tags i need <clears throat> bam we just went from four plant income in fact three at the start of this turn to eight and that should deal with our oxygen. We'd love to get another city down, which I can start building up here in a second as well. Lunar beam. I don't mind getting a little bit more energy. And in that case, do we care more about physics complex for points? I think we care more about physics complex for points than we do about pumping the oxygen, right? Yeah, let's be greedy. Let's be real greedy. We've had a lot of good plays. Good cards gone downrange. Um, and obviously our luck is going to continue and not fall. So 
with that in mind, it's obvious that we should uh, play aggressive because we're going to have good luck. Uh, I can play the Subterranean Reservoir here. Now I have a dollar discount on all my cards, by the way, so that's quite nice. Go in here, that's $4 worth of ocean adjacency. And then with my seven bucks, I can get the Lunar Beam. Bam. We're up to five energy income, 11 heat. And once we get up to zero degrees, we can play Caretaker Contract, and that will help us get the extra TR that we need to get to 63 TR. And we might not even have to do all the oxygen. Um, but since we're over here with our city with a whole bunch of greens, like plants to pick up, uh, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, we don't have any space tags, but we do have trees in sight. So let's go ahead and do that. If I had one more heat bump, I would actually have trees this gen. Worth, uh, worth talking about, that's for sure. I think it's time to continue down the let's get the oceans down path. So you go here, we go here. Absolutely fantastic. We have tons of plants. Permafrost extraction is another really cheap ocean. That fully encircles this location here. So bam, we put a greenery in. Tons of money back. Everyone's super jealous. Um, and we'll go here as well. Very good. So now we're back up to 16 bucks. And we need more energy, believe it or not. So let's do energy. And now we can start talking about doing a physics complex and all kinds of other fun, fun stuff. 39 TR, we're well on track. We're well on track here. And all this extra energy has been coming over. We have to get, we have generation 10, 11, and 12, and we have to get 24 TR. So we should be in a, in a good place for that. Algae we can play, this we can play, ants we could play, but Inventor's Guild is a hard maybe as well. We already have a lot of good cards, so I don't think it's actually that worth worthwhile. We'd rather spend our money getting, um, we'd rather spend that money getting cities to go for all of our stuff. I think I'm going to do the heat bump, right? Because that's a free ocean. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Oh, but I. No, I did one too many heat bumps. Crud. Whatever. I'm still going to do the asteroid. We're going to get a little bit of money back. That gets me this ocean here. Which completes the uh, encirclement of this greenery that I'm going to buy. There's one more ocean to place, but we have an event to do that for super cheap. Um. Oh, we have Lake Marineris as well. I didn't even realize. Uh-oh. Oops. Well, we don't need Lake Marineris anymore. That's for sure. So we're not using any metals, are we? Not really. In that case, I won't use any metals this turn because I have advanced alloys that I could play next turn. I, I don't know why I grabbed it. I don't actually have that many, that many metals, so... Can't help but feel like that was a mistake. There's a bunch of income. Uh, since we're not playing Lake Marineris, let's sell it. I mean, $17 for two points is fine, but it's $22 for a city, and we'll very likely have way more on it than that. So uh, let's keep filling out our... Well, money back is money back, right? But no, let's keep filling out our city locations and then make this a really good city location as well. And then we'll go ahead and make two points out of six energy. Because that feels good. Got to get some points this run, right? I still need 18 TR. Don't get me wrong. It's it's lots of TR to get. But it feels like we're going to get it. You know, it just feels like we are. Um, I don't need any of this, though. Maybe there's an argument between me, like, for a protected valley. Maybe. But no, I don't think so. I think we just hang out. I think we do a little click here. I think I go ahead and play caretaker contract and we do a click there. We'll do this bump. 
We'll prep this city by going beside. Uh, we'll take this little plant. Oh, baby. Right there. 13 plant income. I mean, come on. That gets us this heat bump. We're up to 50. We need 13 more TR. We can play ice cap melting. Place it here. I guess I should have put my greenery there. Oopsies. I don't want to kill my energy production yet. And there's three more TR to get there. Wow. Um, I mean, I'm going to buy a city. We're going to be a little bit greedy and buy a city before we've resolved all the outstanding things we got to do. I will also buy this greenery. We'll put that there. I could play greenhouses, but don't need it. Don't need it just yet. 52 TR. Yeah, let's, let's we still have a, we do have a lot of TR to get. Like I'm I'm kind of like eh. Like we should be fine, but like I eh, eh, wanted points, right? Yeah, this all would have been good at the start of the game. We got to get a TR like that, but we're one heat shy, which is it's pretty devastating. Gonna bump the oxygen. Hmm. Hmm. You don't say. The thing is, like, playing advanced alloys breaks even if I could spend all my titanium, but I can't even spend the titanium. Like, I'd, I'd have to spend eight metals to break even on advanced alloys. So I guess that means that we don't play it. We just get this for TR. Um, hmm. Well, I'm not buying cities. Let's play this card here. And then we're going to buy heat bumps because they're the cheapest way to buy TR if you can afford them. I think I'm good. I have three greeneries to put down and I could buy another bump. But I think it means that in my own, like, making sure I don't die or lose. I'm going to pick there, there. And then I'm going to, I can't get enough green plants. So buffer gas. And then one more greenery beside a city. And that's 63 TR. Not many points, not many cities, but all of the TR we needed. Uh, there's no way to get to 24 plants. So we're just gonna place here and here and fully encircle my remaining cities. We got everything but an oxygen bump, right? Like, we did do a lot of terraforming. We just didn't get that many, like, extra sources of TR. So then we had to buy it out manually at the end instead of um, buying cities. Like, every city we would have bought there would have been, like, at least two points, if not three, which we had lined up. So, okay, run. Okay, 98 points. Again, sorry for the rush, but you know, sometimes you got to get through. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure have, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.